Okay, I'm just gonna go. So if you are a regular buyer of flower cuttings or flower bouquets or just love flowers in general, you probably know what calla lilies are. Not sure if you know, but you can also buy them as potted plants such as this one. So calla lilies, just like in their cut form, come in many different colors, such as the ones you see on this table. There are a few things you need to be aware of before you buy your calla lily, and that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna talk about what to look out for when you're buying your calla lily, what to expect as, after you've bought it, how to take care of it as long as it's alive, and then anything to look out for and any, any pitfalls that might arise as you own and are parenting this plant. So really, when you're buying the calla lily, all that you really need to care about is what the flower looks like and if it's something you want. That's, you're buying this plant purely for the aesthetics for the short-term aesthetic. Unlike peace lilies or most of the other plants we sell at Planted, calla lilies are not evergreen, evergreen plants. And it's really important you know that before you buy these plants. What that means is in four to six weeks, probably maybe a little bit longer if it's in the perfect condition, the eight max, the, the plant will eventually wilt away and die. And you can then replant your bud. Outdoor plant gardens are familiar with this, but indoor plant parents may not have heard of such a thing. So if you're buying this plant and you expect it to look like this for the entire year, don't do that. However, if you're buying this plant because you want something that can be a beautiful short-term gift that can last for up to eight weeks, on average six, then this would be a perfect place to start. And when you buy that plant, all you really need to care about is whether or not, again, you like the way it looks. You can have something that's more on the pinkish side, such as this one. You can get something that's more completely white, such as these. You can get yellow ones. You can even get some dark red ones and probably some more, some other ones that might come out throughout the year. That's what you need to look out for. You buy this plant, you bring it home. How do you now make sure once you've brought it home that the plants stay there as long as possible? Yes, it's not an evergreen plant, but you also don't want it to die in four or five days. You may as well have bought a flower bouquet if you wanted that, right? If you want it to last for six weeks, even pushing eight weeks, you want to maximize the amount of light that it gets. The more light it's getting, the more work the green leaves are going to do to effectively provide energy for the plant, the longer it'll stay alive. So what that means, what you want to do is when you get home, this is your window. Place your calla lily as close to the window as possible. It's very, very unlikely that you're going to burn this plant if you live in the UAE. That's because windows here, as we've said in other videos, are heavily tinted. That tint is going to filter out the light and effectively prevent it from burning any of these plants. It's very unlikely that you will dry out this plant. The leaves in this plant will retain moisture for quite a long time, i.e. it's not going to evaporate so quickly. It's not thin enough to do that. And it's quite effective at pulling out water from the soil and pushing it to the rest of its leaves. So if you want to keep it lasting and looking as good as long as possible, as much bright direct light as you can possibly give it. Now, you might tell me, Sharif, I really, really want this plant, but I have a dark window. I still want to make sure it's staying bright as long as I can. Well, then what I would say is if you have a grow light at home, make sure you're shining it on the plant. The closer that light is to the plant, the more of that light it'll then absorb and then convert into energy. So that's what you do in terms of placement. Once you've done that, there's basically not much else you need to worry about aside from the watering. We have a whole other video on how to water your plants. If you want to know how to water this plant, watch that video. This plant falls into the category of plants that like their soil to dry out a little bit. Basically, that category of plants that like their soil to dry out between 30 to 50%. Once it's dry, you need to rewater the entire soil bed, make sure it is entirely saturated, allow any excess water to come out the bottom, like a lot of excess water to come out the bottom. Once it's fully come out, make sure to take it back to its original spot. And that's it. Because this plant is not an evergreen plant, it's not gonna last you for years. You're not gonna have to worry about fertilizing it, repotting it. It is a plant you will buy for the short term. You look good for six, to, for six to eight weeks. If you really, really are a plant lover and you want to regrow this plant, it is possible to do so. It is possible after the plant has wilted away to take the bud, remove any soil from it, dry it out entirely in a cold, dark room, leave it there for two months and then regrow it and you will reward yourself with new blooms. If you really are into plants, we're gonna create a whole new video on how to do that properly. If you do, if honestly, if you're thinking about that, you probably know what to do, but if you aren't and you just want something short-term to care for, it's a great option. 
Having said that, if you do decide to buy a plant such as this and it does last six to eight weeks and it's time to get rid of it, keep your planter. If you have a planter like this, you can always use it for the next plant, which you can put in its place. And we have a whole video on how to repot plants and how to place them into new planters. You can follow the guidelines on that video to make sure the plant you're transferring to this new planter will, is done so correctly. So do that and you'll be a great calla lily foster parent for the short time you have it. Thank you and have a great day.